Inpatient nursing students, welcome to sample client name, we're glad you're here. This e-learning course is designed to familiarize you with the EPIC electronic medical record we use to document care we provide to our inpatients. Our primary focus will be on functionality, specifically the way our system looks and feels so that you're prepared to begin working in our hospital units. Before we begin the course, let's cover some of the features of your e-learning player. Hover over each information button to learn more about each feature. When you are ready to move on, press the next arrow. This self-paced learning allows you to own and control your learning experience. During this training, we'll use different scenarios to walk through the basics of your most common workflows in EPIC. Feel free to review any section as many times as needed in order to understand the workflows and be prepared to complete them in the patient care setting. You will practice additional workflows and scenarios in after-class exercises, readiness activities, and playground practice time. If you're curious about a scenario not covered, make a note and reach out to your trainer or the manager in your area. Be sure to complete this training prior to taking your end-user proficiency assessment. When you are ready, Please click on the right arrow in the player to move to the next slide. In this course you will learn, logging in, patient chart, patient documentation, intake slash output, notes, orders, event log, the brain, medication administration. Welcome to sample client name. We are excited to have you here, helping take care of our patients. Sample client name uses Epic as our electronic health record, EHR. While you'll be working in conjunction with a preceptor who will help answer additional questions as they arise, this e-learning course is an introduction to EPIC functionality. It is designed to cover some of the most common student nurse workflows so that you will, will be able to find all relevant patient information and document your care. Hands-on exercise. The next section uses the familiar medical training model of C1, do 1, teach 1. You will be given a scenario and have a chance to see a step-by-step -step demonstration of the workflow with instruction. Then you'll have a chance to do the step actions yourself with on-screen assistance. And finally, you will have a chance to teach one by completing the step actions without assistance, to show you know it well. Please read the scenario for this demonstration. Click the next arrow when you are ready to watch the video demonstration. Welcome to the Epic Login page. You will log into Epic Production using your Epic username and password. You'll be given a user ID and password to access the system. After clicking the Epic icon, a hyperspace home page will display. From this home page, type your user ID and password in the appropriate fields and press login. We in the username field we will type in TRN28362. The username field is not case sensitive. Next, we will click into the password field. The password field is case sensitive, type in all lowercase train in the password field. Notice the login button becomes active when the password is entered. Click the login button. The department field has two icons in it. A hard stop that looks like a stop sign, and another icon called a magnifying glass, this is epic search functionality. Today we know we are working in department 4B click or tab into the department field. The first time that a user logs in, there will be a hard stop. The hard stop is an indicator of required information and as mentioned previously, has the appearance of a stop sign. To remove the hard stop we enter information into the field. We will type in 4B into the department field, and press enter. Now that the department is filled and we can click continue. Your cosigner will usually be your instructor. Type their name here. Click continue. The message of the day will notify the end user of Epic Updates and important system information. Click OK. The What's New screen will appear the first time a user logs into Epic or whenever there is new features that are available in Epic. Options here are to click View Now and enter your email address to be emailed for more prompted to be reminded later. For now, let's click on the Remind Me Later button. The next row down is called the Epic Toolbar. It starts with the big Epic button and has several task buttons. Task buttons on the Epic Toolbar are most used by the user's role and when clicked will display down below in the Workspace tab bar. These then can be closed when finished. The default screen that is open when we log in is called the Brain. Notice that it is currently empty. 
This workspace will display the patients that we are working with. This will be reviewed later in the course. In the user toolbar we have several activities that you will use. The first one is the tip sheets button. When it is clicked it opens to the learning home dashboard workspace tab. The learning home dashboard is divided into several sections. It has scroll functions within the sections. Click and scroll. Below the user toolbar is the workspace bar. By default we have four tabs. It is currently open to the learning home dashboard. When we hover over the icon in the tab we see the name of the tab appear it reads my dashboards. The learning home dashboard tab is a little lighter than the other tabs because it's the workspace that's being displayed. To the left of that is the unit manager. This tab is for patient movement used by other roles. The patient lists workspace is for accessing patients at the hospital. The first tab is the brain, a central workspace to access the patient that we are working with. Note that you can hover the cursor over each tab to discover its contents. Would you like to watch the demonstration again? Or, are you ready to try it yourself? You can also skip the guided and unguided practice and jump to the next demonstration. Using the same scenario, you will now have the opportunity to do one by clicking on the screen in the right places and entering information. Blue text boxes will provide you with the information you will need to complete the simulation. Good job. If you would like to do it again, please press the... Using the same scenario, you will now have the opportunity to show that you can complete the navigation on your own without on-screen help. Blue text boxes will still provide you with the step-by-step -step information you will need. From this screen you may select review to see what you missed. Congratulations! Super job completing this lesson. You can now close this window to exit.